Hey guys, if you spend some time in Japan, you're very likely to come across this scene. Dogs on short leads or chains attached to small kennels out the front of houses. So of course there's not a lot of spare space in Japan, so usually houses don't have much in the way of gardens and usually don't have fences. So this is what the dog owners usually choose to do. They usually have them on a chain or a lead attached to the front of the house. Usually with some sort of kennel that they can go into if it's rainy or cold or whatever. So here's a place where they obviously do have a bit of garden. This is out in the countryside, but even still they don't have a fence. So again, they've got the dog chained to the kennel. So we know some people won't like these scenes, but we, we always report on things like this, whatever we see, even though we know videos like this aren't popular and people dislike them and unsubscribe and get all emotional about things like this. And, and we understand that, but we just have to report on what we see. So this is what we see. So quite common, the short leads and the short collars again. I mean, obviously they're fed, they're fed well and so on, but it is disturbing, isn't it, to see dogs that can't run around sort of stuck in a short in a small space and people are busy of course too so they don't always get a chance to walk them which is sort of sad too this guy's on a, on a short line he actually isn't, doesn't have a bad life though he's he's outside a temple and so he gets a lot of attention from people all day long this guy usually is outside on a lead but at night they bring him in and put him in the genkan so he's just inside the door. So probably more disturbing than what you've seen so far is there's another thing that we often see here too, and that is dogs in cages in houses like this one. And it's hard to explain. It, it seems that because this is sort of seen as normal in Japan, Japanese people don't give it much thought. Most Japanese people don't give it much thought. Of course, some of them do, but lots of them just consider this sort of thing as normal. Just have your dog in a cage in the corner of the lounge room. They probably think it's been kind because he's in there where it's warm. So, But it is disturbing, isn't it, to some people to see things like this. It's sort of, it's possibly, there's a few reasons for it. One is because it's considered normal in Japan. And in Japan, if something's considered normal, people don't sort of question it. The other thing is that Japanese people's lives themselves are full of hardship and endurance is what it's considered to be normal in life. So they probably see that their pets living like that's just an extension of that, possibly. Be all sorts of justifications for it like that, probably. Ferrets in a cage isn't so unusual, is it? But of course this is in a shop too. In all fairness, that's actually in a shop. Just wanted to show you the ferrets, really. But we'll continue on with some probably a little bit more heartening stuff. Here's an old guy walking his cat. <laughs> so the cat probably has a good life. People do have cats here as well, and they're usually left to wander around inside the homes. So the cats usually have a bit better life. But we do see them on, on leads now and again outside houses. And then we do see other animals here that are totally spoiled and treated like humans so there's lots of examples of that as well so it's not all bad guys so this is really common there's a dog in a baby cart <laughs> it's the other extreme isn't it some people would consider wheeling a dog around in a baby cart to be overindulging wouldn't they but uh, we do see this as well oh here's a classic we actually thought these people had a new baby in their baby stroller because the lady was running along with the umbrella there shading the, the stroller from the sun and as they went past us we actually saw there's a dog in that stroller so they were really pandering it like she's holding the umbrella so the sun doesn't go on the on the stroller and there's a dog in it so obviously that dog leads a very good life and then we see lots of this as well when the weather gets cooler animals dogs and cats in in clothes so obviously these are these are well treated spoiled animals with their clothes this guy here he's got his, his little jersey on and his cargo pants like <laughs> being wheeled around again not even he doesn't even have to walk he's just wheeled around 
So that's the other side of it too, of course. There's a whole variety, the whole spectrum. And this is a pet shop, and this is all animal clothes. So you'll see both if you come to Japan. And that's all we want to do with these videos. We just want to show you what you would see if you came to Japan. So there's a uh, sports jersey clothes for, for pets and a net for them to play soccer. So yeah, that's all we want to do. Just want to show you, if you come to Japan, this is what you'll see. This You'll see the whole spectrum of how animals are treated in Japan. We know those first images are disturbing, but again, we just want to show you what we see. And then we showed you the other more positive images to show it's not all bad. This is down the countryside. This is the farmer's dog running around in amongst the rice fields. Anyway, there it was, the good, the bad, and the ugly. More videos coming soon.